So now we're going to build the uh, bed frame and what you're looking at here is pretty much everything that you'll need uh, out of your kit. You'll have your, uh, have your uh, uh, the 80-20 uh, bed frame parts here, bed frame side plates, uh, the angles, the upper and lower Z limit uh, and bed leveling uh, pieces and then the two bed leveling pieces in the back. A uh, variety of hardware here. Once again, I'm showing you the um, the Allen wrench set that you get with your uh, with your kit. Uh, I use a little bit different, but uh, tools, but they're they're different, but they're exactly the same. So mine will be a T wrench and a screwdriver type uh, three millimeter um, Allen wrench, along with an electric drill motor with just a uh, regular three millimeter uh, Allen wrench in it. So we have 12 T-nuts here, and these 12 T-nuts are going to go into the bed cross rails. So we'll put two in the bottom of these as they sit on there. It'll be hard. I'll spin it around when I'm finished, but we're going to put two in the bottom on the other side. And you do have your two cross rails this way, just to spread them and show you how we have them. Oops. So we'll say that this is the front one. So the front one is basically going to get one at each end. And that's for your bed leveling. I'll put one at this end for bed leveling on the back, but it's going to get six on the back side. So there's one that's in there at that end. Two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is for bed leveling again. So when I put these together, if you look at the front, we have two of them here on the front. And those are for the angles that hold the bed. We have two of them on the top, and this is considered the front rail. We have six on the back. And then if I carefully spin this around without losing T-nuts, You'll see that we have two more right here on the bottom for the other two angle brackets that hold the bed to the bed frame. So I'll set this up basically how uh, the bed will be uh, made but upside down. The first thing that you need to do is you need to get your T-nuts and there's going to be 12 T-nuts that you put in there. <clears throat> You're going to put two of them. Uh, on the front side at the, the bottom, which is actually going to be the top side uh, when it's all flipped over. But the, we're once again using the granite here. Uh, you want to use a flat surface like a nice flat table or your granite kitchen uh, counters or something like that. So there's two of them on the front, on the bottom there, two of them on the back. Then on the front one, you're basically going to have um, two of them for the uh, bed leveling system. The back one, you're going to have two for the bed leveling system. You'll have two for the Panduit that holds your, uh, your wiring. And then two for the uh, cable carriers. So two four, then you have six of them in there, so that's ten, and then two more on the back gives you twelve. So you want to make sure that you do this because when, once when you start putting this together, um, you have to take it apart to be able to put T-nuts back in. And be careful when you move it around because once when you put the T-nuts in, if you slide it, 
like I'll show you here, your T-nuts can end up coming out. So you don't want to tilt it. There are was some screws here that I forgot, which are actually the uh, five uh, M5 by 12 hex heads. And that's what you're gonna use. You're gonna have eight of them that you're gonna use to tie in the side plates into these cross rails here. So I like to do my hardware first, so I'll take um, one of the M5 by 12s, put a lock washer and a flat washer on. So you'll just repeat that eight times. Flat washer has to be the last thing that you put on because it's gonna go against a slot and you'll see that here in just a moment. Okay. So we're gonna now attach the um, bed cross rail to the side plates and here's your slot. So if you put the your um, lock washer on first, it's gonna slide right through there. It's not gonna perform its, its duty. So it's always the lock washer first, then the uh, flat washer. And when you lift this up, the ends of the, the cross rails are threaded. And so you have to do a balancing act here. To get them started. And you're gonna do this all the way around. And this is why I like prepping my hardware before I start it off, because now you can just pick it up and literally uh, install it. it up to the top before we square it. That way you'll see a gap down below. Oh, cool, cool. So all eight screws have been installed uh, on the uh, where the uh, side plates go to the bed cross rails. So your kit comes with a square. You can use the square here to we're going to square up these uh, uh, cross rails to the side plates. Uh, I use a one, two, three block, which is just basically a smaller version, smaller, thicker version of your square. So I'll put it in there and you'll notice at the bottom there's a gap. You're going to want to push the cross rails on the, on the front all the way down. And then I try to flush your uh, cross rail to the end of your uh, um, side plate and then what we'll do is we'll snug up this hardware here and all this is doing is making sure that uh, your one, two, three blocker, your square is making sure everything's square and flush, uh, as we call it, true to the world or square to the world. And so you just want to snug these. You don't want to really tighten them because you're going to have to loosen these up uh, with the adjustment uh, of the bed leveling later on. So you'll do this for all four corners. You have uh, an eight millimeter socket and something to go into your electric drill motor uh, you can use that once again uh, you don't 
you're just snugging it. You're not really, uh, you want it on a real low tor torque setting. There you go. So now you've basically made the uh, the frame of your of your bed frame. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add these angle pieces. So this is where um, your bed plate is going to attach to your bed frame. So you're going to use some uh, M five by eights. And you're going to put those into Um, if you look at this angle piece, there's uh, two holes. There's one pretty much in the center of one of the legs and one that's offset. So the offset one is going to be the one that goes to your bed. The one that's basically in the center is going to go to your bed frame. And you don't have to really tighten those on. This is just uh, initially getting it on there. Installing the bed frame onto the, the, the bed to the bed frame uh, is another procedure. So I've just flipped it around so it's more easily, easily accessible here. Again, I'm just putting them on there, kind of putting them to the middle to keep them out of the way uh, for right now. So the next pieces that we have are going to be the um, bed leveling uh, devices. So those will use some of my other hardware over here. Just bring everything up here right now. Those are M5 by 45 button heads. So we'll grab one of these. We'll grab uh, a regular nut. Actually, we'll grab four of those in regular nuts. And put the nuts on here. And this nut is uh, basically the nut that's going to be used to uh, adjust uh, for bed leveling. So I bring the nut all the way up to the head. So with that done, I'm going to grab my other parts here. So we're going to use the um, small blocks here, which are the leveling blocks. These two holes are going to go to the uh, mounting holes on the side of the side plate. So you're going to take one of your M5 by 45s with the nut on it already. Then you're going to get one of the springs. Then you'll get a flat washer the flat washer on so that'll be your little sub assembly and then you can start it on there I always screw it down to it bottoms out then come back and you notice it slides on here we're gonna do the same thing for the other side M5 by 45 button head with the nut spring and a washer and then come to the other side So what we have here is we have the uh, M5 by 12s and what we're going to do is we're just going to get these started 
in here. And this is where I bring in my electric drill motor. And I basically just hold both of these screws down to the bottom of the, uh, the holes because there's a little bit of uh, play in it. And I torque them down and that's a final torque. Then you'll want to take and tighten up this, um, this screw. You're going to want to tighten it all the way down and what it's doing is it's digging into your uh, cross rail. And you want it in there tight because you don't want that to move whenever you make your adjustments. And at this point, this one is on. So to make it easier whenever you go to uh, level your bed, once your bed's on, I screw the, the uh, nut down and get it to touch and then give it just a little bit. You don't want to pull it too much or you'll start sliding it in these, uh, these uh, slots that are on the side. Go and do this to the other side. It's a lot easier to put these in this way than it is to try to put the block on and then get the spring and the washer and everything underneath. Uh, it is possible, but it's more difficult. So we're going to flip this around. And since it's upside down, your right's on the left and the left's on the right. So the one that is on the um, left side, uh, as it's upside down, is actually your right one, which is going to be the upper uh, limit switch, Z limit switch. So you're going to get an M5 by 70 hex head here and put a regular nut on it. Once again, You don't have to go all the way up on this one. And so it's, my piece is laying here. This is basically how it's gonna go. So you have to make sure that you install this from the bottom side of it. I should be approximately seven eighths of an inch from the end, uh, going, pr protruding through the, uh, the block. And that's a good starting place for your uh, up on your the upper bearing block. So you're going to grab another one of these uh, M5 by 7 70 hex head. Put another regular nut on it. This one you are going to drive it all the way. When we come here on the other side, of this sitting here like that, as it's going to be uh, mounted, you're going to go from the opposite side. And so this one, I'm going to drive it all the way down to the nut. That way whenever you install this, you make sure that you don't damage your lower uh, limit switch. And I always like to just snug it just a little bit so it doesn't move. So now, just like you did on the other ones, you're going to get one of your M5 by 45s, a spring, and a flat washer. You're going to put it in your T-nut. going to do the exact same thing that we did on the other side m5 by 12 uh, they might give you 5 by 12s or 5 by 10s to put in here so once again it started I'll push it on the bottom of the holes here and tighten it up same thing here with driving it down
putting the nut down. I did notice on my back one back here, I didn't do that. So we'll do that now for you with, that were really paying attention. So when you drive this down also, you wanna to try to make sure it's in the center of that hole. So uh, as you use the, the screw to adjust it, uh, adjust the, doing the bed leveling, um, that the threads of the screw aren't uh, digging into the aluminum. So now what we're gonna do is once again, we're pushing it down. We're gonna do a final torque. And then this is where you can see where you have a lot, you can still slide this back and forth. So you're, what you're trying to do is, is get it centered up in there to be straight up and down when you lock it in. So that way, whenever you're finished, it's basically not touching. And then you'll bring your jam nut down and then just barely snug it. So uh, this piece of pan do it right here, it's a nine and a quarter inch piece, uh, deep number three that's in the kit. Uh, you're gonna use this to uh, hold all the wiring that goes from your bed, that goes from your electrical box to the bed. Kind of keep everything tucked away. So we're gonna spin this around to where your T-nuts are here. And so we have four T-nuts and this is the actual right-hand side of the, uh, the bed. This is the left-hand side, stating the obvious. We'll pull the uh, lid off and we're gonna get two five by eights. And we wanna use the smaller holes uh, on there. So that's why I like my electric drill motor. I can just put them on here and uh, drive them right on through. And you can use uh, any of them. I like using the, the furthest of the two. Kind of spread my T-nuts apart. So I have two of them that are, two T-nuts that are over here and these two right here are gonna be used for the cable carrier later. So basically I get it started. You can even drive it all the way down, but you'll have to back it up. So it'll slide, get the other one in. And I like leaving it that way. So whenever you uh, mess with your uh, bed frame, this isn't sliding back and forth. So the next portion that we're gonna do is gonna be putting wheels on. And the only wheels that you're gonna, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. No, I'm doing it. <laughs> We're gonna put the stationary wheels on. And if you notice, we have two different hole sizes here. We have larger hole sizes for the back that uses eccentrics. And you have smaller hole sizes that are in the front of the bed that use stationary. Uh, wheels. So what we'll do is we're going to get four of just the sleeves. So this is just a regular sleeve. And to show you what an eccentric is and what's different is it's a little hex headed piece that has the whole offset. And those you'll put on later. So we need four wheels. We also need four M5 by 30 screws. So we'll put that through the wheel and then put the bushing on or spacer. Do that four times. Sometimes you can just spin the wheel and it'll center that little washer in the center uh, and let it your hardware slide over. So 
I put one on each side, I give myself one flat washer on each side. At this point I take and I put just a dab of grease like we did before, which helps prevent galling of the stainless hardware on stainless. This time we're going to use the locking um, nylock uh, locking nuts. So we'll start those on there. And then this is a little trick that I do whenever I build them. Since your stationaries are stationary, there is actually some movement front and back very little because of the size of the hole in the side plate compared to the size of the piece of hardware so what i do is when i put my uh, electric drill motor on it you notice i'm putting my thumb on the back here to try to pull the piece of hardware all the way to the back so it's as far back in that hole as it can go so it won't slip on you and you won't lose your adjustment when you put your bed on. So your bottom ones are real easy to do. It's a little bit more difficult on your top ones because you have your cross rail in the way. Once again, you'll put the wheel with the hardware and the spacer on. one flat washer and it doesn't take much it's just a small dab of grease then your lock nuts again uh, this all can be done with just regular hand tools you don't have to use the electric drill motor it just makes it quicker and it makes torquing all your uh, screws uh, uniform so when you do this, you have to kind of pull the, uh, the wrench towards the back. But that, once again, pulls it towards the back. So if, it, if there is any movement, if you accidentally over uh, tighten the uh, eccentrics, then your back ones won't move. And there's basically your bed frame with the rear wheels, the leveling devices, the upper and lower limit switches, your panduit, and the angles that hold your bed on as one unit. So here's a completed bed with the bed um, bed frame upside down and the front is facing us here. So you'd basically be looking at this frame with the two T-nuts in there for these two angle brackets and then the two T-nuts for the two bed leveling systems for the front. So then we look at the back and what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and spin the whole unit around so you can see it. Which means I'm going to have to spin my bed cross rail around. So you notice we still have the two T-nuts for the two angle brackets we have a T-nut at each end, once again for the bed leveling system. We have these two T-nuts for your Panduit. And then we have two more T-nuts, which would be these two T-nuts for the cable carrier system. <laughs> 